Hello and welcome back Europe and Aerosolis 4 and welcome back to Nepalese Conquest or Nepalese Ambitions, whichever you want to call it. So apparently we have a couple of revolt risks that uh, can pop up. Now to our street it would be 50 military points to actually do. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, that one sneaked up on me. Okay, so... Horse reach reduced by 30%. Uh, this would be in Bhutan. This happens because I'm converting. And 8.1 chance. Well, as soon as it reaches... Let's see, can I bump up my stability? 130, that's too much. Overextension. I am coring Baglapur in Nepalese peasants at 60. War, where are you coming? Come on. Come on, right there. Could increase the autonomy here if need be. Let's keep on going. Although I might need to actually pull this off. I might need to do it. Kashar and Kangra. Hang on. Kashar. Kashar is here. No, I don't want a royal marriage. That's Kangra. Oh jeez. No, that's a big no. How's my relation status? Two out of four. Assam and Orisa. So Kor actually broke the alliance. Yeah, they rivaled me. So Kashar, who are your rivals? Do I have Assam as a rival? Well, Assam is your enemy, so I'm not going to do that. So no to Kashar. Kangra. He might come in handy. I like Punjab. I would love to get an alliance with you. Right over here, I cannot get an alliance. I need to find alliances because I will need a little bit more of power. 3800. I'm still not in the Peasants War risk, but. It's getting close. You're a vassal, or is it you have defensive? You'll only join my wars against Bengal. Four, th five thousand men. Yeah, I'm going to need to arse treat the, these guys. By 30. And if I do this one, by 30 as well. Okay. Tibetan Patriots defect to come. Where? Here. For extension, what exhaustion nationalism? Yeah, that's going to drop considerably. Could cancel this missionary, but then how much longer? Five years. Yeah. Well, we'll harsh treat anyhow. Yeah. Harsh treat this one. The patriots or the peasants? I'm not going to do that just yet. If need be, I'll increase the autonomy there. Kangra, no. I'm not going to ally you. I need a, a sizable alliance. Vigi would come to mind. Although I'm allied to rivals, so that's a little bit out of the question. Gondwana. You might be one. Minus six. Yeah, you're definitely one. Let's try to get you in here. Try to get an alliance with you. They should have rivaled Janpur, if I'm not mistaken. No, they rivaled Malwa. Orisa, uh, I would love a marriage, sure. I'm going to marry Orisa just because I want to try and get them to be friendly towards me. Conquest against Tirhut, let's improve relations there. I'm not going to fight anywhere right about now. 60-50, right. Need to be careful with the revolts. Careful with the revolts, right. Do, 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 do. Okay, well, 130. That's a bit much. No more exhaustion though, so that's good. 25%. We are re receiving 105 men each month. Lovely. According to this one, it's already my religion. 
As soon as this one is scored, it should be... 60-60. Um, as soon as this one is scored, it should be accept culture. Because 4 base tax amounts more than 50. If need be, I'll harsh treat again, by the way. I need to not get this guy to revolt. 5,000 men is really the most that I can get, probably. Need to reach to level 4 in a min as fast as I can as well. And I'm going to need to kick off one a leader. So let's do this one. So I don't pay upkeep there. Soon reach is, let's say, 90 on each. On the Nepalese peasants, I'll increase the autonomy. On the Bhutanese nationalists, I will harsh treat. So until then, speed 5. Does it update over here? Let's see if it actually updates with if I have this window open. 60, 60, 10. So far, so good. Nine point eight, four point five. By the way, if you reduce the revolt risk, if you reduce the revolt risk, the cost wash street will go down. So now overextension that should have gone. Bengal is now accepted, so I have no revolt risk over here, even though I have nationalism fourteen point five. This is brilliant. I did increase the autonomy. Yeah, autonomy increased. But it's totally fine. I'm making lots more gold now. Well, in comparison with what we were making, anyhow. Yeah, Nepalese peasants, 70. 9.6 years. Alright, so it does update, I think. Okay, so I managed to improve relations to the top in Orissa. They are not willing to accept uh, an alliance. Or rather, they still are cordial. Gondwana, would you care for an alliance already? You would. Let's get one. Try to dissuade any more people from joining or from declaring war on us. Tirhut, alliances, Koch and Garwal. So Garwal and Koch. If I were to declare war on you, no one would join. Brilliant. Are you allied with Tirhut? No. Gondwana? Uh, no. The only one that I'm going to royal marriage is Orissa because they have Karjat and Bastar and Jharkhand with... Um, really? Bastar and Jharkhand? Who is your march? Karjat. You are the march. We'll have to wait and see what this alliance it turns out to be. Let's fabricate a claim here, if I have lazy diplomats. Let's fabricate a claim on Barind, so we can go there. This is actually Hindu as well. We can take pretty much all of Bengal, which is right religion, right culture, so that would be brilliant. Over here, 70, 60, okay. Looking forward to the day that the missionary is over. Then we'll have 1.1% chance to revolt. Which should be fine. And this one. Intolerance. Yeah, I need to convert that one as well. Can sustain one more unit of infantry, maybe? Yeah, we can. Let's actually drop this all the way. A little bit risky, but let's do it. Five prestige. Sure, sure, sure. Sarik Yogir, still alive with these guys. Karadel, Utsam, and Mongyang. I definitely need to get in here again. These guys are kind of easy to defeat. So I definitely de need to do that. 70, 60 still. Level 1 Commandant. I would love that one. I was actually investigating if, uh, with all the changes to discipline, what would be better? Do I have, already have claims there? Yes, I do. What would be better if uh, discipline or morale? Turns out high discipline is best. 
really high discipline. Because the discipline actually influences the amount of casualties that you'll suffer, the amount of casualties that you'll inflict, and most importantly, it will uh, inflict more morale damage and reduce your morale damage. So, all in all, discipline all the way. Of course, something is to say about that because uh, you need to actually have. Um, let's let's say that you need uh, two idea groups to actually stack up discipline, and one idea group to stack up morale. So it's kind of neck and neck. It depends on what you want to do. Okay, the religious unity should go down by that point. Conquest against Bengal. Okay, good. Fabricated claim on Guj, by the way, because they have no allies in base tax 1, uh, Tibetan and Buddhist. I do. Tibetan is already accepted. Buddhist will go there uh, a little bit later. So, yeah, peasants. So, at 70. Is that dropping? I would love for that to be dropping. Let's repay all loans. There. Uh, I would love to reduce inflation, but I need to check up. Seventy, sixty. Okay. If it remains like that, I am pleased. Good song. Oman is Multan and Mewat at war with Delhi. My mind regards to. I can get one vassal. Okay, good. Not going to vassalize over here because over here it's actually. If I increase the autonomy, it's totally fine. Because accept culture and accept my religion, so should have low revolt risk. However, over here, I'm really cons uh, considering vassalizing, or just fully annexing and vassalize. And if that's the case, I'm going to do it with this guy. They have two pattern ideas anyhow, national unrest and missionary strength. So that will come in handy. That will go real, real handy. So 5,000 versus 1,000, I should be able to pull that off. How are my reducing by... Really? I am not reducing anything by having troops there? Nope, only legitimacy and autonomy increased. And if I bump up the maintenance... Look at that, we're making one full ducat. Okay, so you need to have full maintenance to actually get the modifier there. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that was the case. I really didn't. Okay, so. Shall we? This is getting done. 59, yeah, let's get there. I'll fully, fully annex these guys and release them. They should be able to convert. And later on I'll be able to just fully annex these guys. I would love for them to actually fabricate claims over in Ladakh. But they are a vassal of Timurids, so never mind. <laughs> You're definitely not going there. Okay. Start to move to Shigats. Thank you. That's the only place that again they can get to. 1st of September, so... Well. That's that. Let's declare. Take Ngari. Go. Move there. 70, 60, still the same. Move in there. We'll be attacking into mountains, but actually have one unit of cavalry. I'm really tempted to just kill that unit of cavalry, by the way. Military leader died. Okay, that's okay ish. Detach siege. Uh, how is my military tech? It's still at 2. I haven't teched up at all. Right, that's no good. Sketch you away. Kill on Mombasa. Sure, sure, sure. 
Right now we just wait. How's my army tradition? Alright, let's get one leader. Two one one. Ugh. Three three six. You know what? Get the leader in place. Oh, for crying out loud. Minus one stability. I need to take care of that right about now. Is the missionary affected by this one, by the way? No. 1% each month. But look at the unrest. Bump that up just slightly. So you don't have negative stability there. A little bit of war exhaustion is stacking up, but other than that, we are fine. Eight thousand four hundred. Okay, my manpower is recovering nicely. Bengal, you are allied with Bamanis. Right, siege of Nagari is over. Okay, so full annexation will be demanded. One point three over extent or aggressive expansion. Let's get that, and now we'll create a subject, and we'll get rid of Nagari. I'm not going to play as him. So there we go. Now you should actually start to convert straight away. At least that's what I'm hoping. There we go. Converting 10.8 and rest. I'm hoping you will be able to take care of that by yourself. Let's take a look at the Rebel Uprising. 70-60. Okay, still the same. These guys are broken. Oh, brilliant. Tirhud actually got this. You are still allied with them due to this. Really. Let's merge. You have no unrest. Move to Bhutan so you can reduce that one. Alright, let's have a get a claim here as well. Koch and Garwal. Koch announced Steerhood, so you are no longer allied with them. Brilliant. Only allied with Garwal. This I can work with. B Bihari. Five base stacks. Jeez, I want that province. Level 2 there. Leader, no leader, 3 1. Uh, I want this. I definitely want this. And you are now. You dissolve the alliance. Uh, do, 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 do. Right. Only ally with Garwall. Let's see if they will actually remain so. Because if they do, we are definitely going there. Let's see. From here to here. 13, 10th, 11th. Okay, 10th, 11th. A 3 1 there. I do have more discipline, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Only allied with Garwal. Would anyone join if I were to look at Warning? Gondwana would. Garwal, what are your alliances? Koch and Tirhut. Okay, I'm going to ask for the full annexation of these guys, and I'll piece out these guys separately. So let's go. Gondwana will join in, so I'm going to call them in. And let's go for it. Oh, and they built one more unit. Our wall, they are at war. Fifth, ninth, I got them. Should be able to wipe them. Maybe, just maybe. Ah, uh, wasn't able to wipe them. Let's try to move there, see if they will actually get over there. There we go. Alright, then I'm going to leave one unit behind. I'm going to do this, consolidate, detach, you will move there. And the remainder will move there. Leave again one unit behind, select this unit, move there. I'm just doing this so that uh, these guys will actually siege, but I will take control of the siege and I will be the one to actually take that. 1-2-2 two, two will be attacking into mountains, but I have one unit of cavalry, hopefully that will be enough. Along with my um, morale or discipline bonus. Still 70-60, so that's fine. Uh, 
crappy shock roll. A three one. Oh jeez. Now I'm suffering for insufficient. Okay, we managed to win by the skin of our teeth, so to speak. Let's go to Garwall and actually try to wipe them before the end of the month. There we go. Now we'll siege. I'll be reinforcing for a little bit. But yeah, this is fine. Can I call you in? No, attitude towards enemies. And you, defensive attitude. And attitude towards enemies. You're actually friendly towards me. Same as you. Awesome. Okay, so Bhutan was converted. This means this will go away. And now I can actually convert Shigats. 92 months. Well, we'll have to do it. So let's get on with it. 6.1. Again, uh, the Bhutanese nationalists will go away. They are gone. No unrest whatsoever. Especially because I increased the autonomy. But the tolerance is crazy good for the Hindus. They get tolerance of true faith plus one. The heretics as well, which is good because everyone is heretic. Okay, and this brings us to the conclusion of this episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed, and if you have, please do leave a like. And until next time, do take care, and goodbye.